Oh, man. Happy day after Thanksgiving. Yeah. Everybody, Thanksgiving was good? Yeah. Woo. You ever been to a Thanksgiving that wasn't good? Yeah. Oh, man. You're like, damn, why are you experimenting? Because Thanksgiving dinner ain't nothing to experiment with. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't made it before, don't start on Thanksgiving Day. Yeah, what the hell? You because you put it in a pan and got it all covered up. You like I'm about to gr like. Why are your sweet potatoes yellow? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So yeah, man, we are we're taping tonight, man. We are going to be on. I have no fucking idea. I, we just we just taping this. Shit. <laughs> it wasn't like nobody was asking us like. Did you guys tape your, <laughs> we gonna tape it and like, here, you need this. We trying to come up. Comedy in Detroit, man. You, if you are a comedian in Detroit and that's your only job, you live with somebody. <laughs> you, somebody is glad your ass is gone right now. <laughs> Black Friday, Black Friday, y'all go Black Friday shopping. Anybody Black Friday shopping, y'all? Yeah, the Friday, the Black Friday beat down, no? No, yeah, yeah, good, man. I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I got a dude that I can get Black Friday prices. <laughs> you know, everybody got a dude they can call, like, man, I need a, I need a 50 inch. <laughs> you can stand in line, man. These folks, man, they be sleeping outside man now the, the store is so out cold they start black friday shopping at dinner time on thanksgiving y'all see that shit best buy it like we're open at five o'clock thanksgiving day <laughs> they're like who in the hell to go sleep outside for a busted ass tv then they got no no name brand that dinx shit no nah, them, them dinx tv you got a <laughs> You got a Black Friday TV? You can't pop collars on the <laughs> Denix TV. <laughs> oh my God, I'm glad, man. How many folks got kids, man? Where your folks at? Where the grown folks with kids? Yes! Oh my God, fuck them. Oh man, can we talk? This is a grown folks show. Oh my God. Dude, I dread like these long ass holidays where it's just you and them. You know what I'm saying? They be wanting to do shit. Like, your plan and my plan don't even line up. I'm middle-aged. It ain't shit I want to do. But lay down on my off day and go downstairs and get something to eat and then go back and lay down. These are new kids, man. These, are these kids new? These, maybe it's me. See, I'm old school. I'm, where my old school Detroit folks at? Y'all remember the old school? See, something different. There's a whole different generation. They ain't like, look, when we came up, man, look, look. I grew up for real, for real. I don't know about y'all. Y'all might grew up in Southfield. I grew up in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? When we was growing up, man, to see me, like, we ever had breakfast for dinner? See, I'm talking to some grown folks now. You ever had, like, breakfast for dinner? It wasn't no sausage your mama cut a hot dog in half and fried that boy? I'm talking to them kind of grown folks. Where, you know, you better not throw the butter the bread out because that's a bun. <laughs> See, I came up for real, for real. I'm like swimming, I'm swimmobile old. Y'all remember the swimmobile? Y'all remember swimmobile? Come on, look, y'all, this is like, oh, this is us. This is all grown folks, man. I mean, the swimmobile was the shit. That, that, you know, when I think about, like, the swimmobile, and if I recall, I don't remember seeing like no filtering system. You know what I'm saying? I ain't see that water circulating. <laughs> so that could only mean like whatever was in that water was on your ass. <laughs> but we was cool. We was cool. Like, just just coming up how we came up, man. Like. Detroit is like coming back. Detroit's the like comeback city of the year. Y'all y'all down with the comeback? Yes, I'm the black people are like, well, where we gonna be at? <laughs> <laughs> I 
They doing all kind of shit now, man. Like, what the hell? They got a skateboard park downtown. You know, we needed that. <laughs> you know, we've been dad, we've been screaming for a skateboard park <laughs> since we were little. Got bike lanes and shit now. Detroit got bike lanes, y'all. Detroit got bike lanes. Now, that, that ain't for no old Detroiters. Now, the old school Detroiters know damn well you don't ride your bike in the street. <laughs> I don't trust no damn bike lane like you think people gonna pay attention to the line. If it ain't shit stopping that car, for coming into that lane, my ass is on the sidewalk. <laughs> Hell no, nah. you get ran over in Detroit, your ass is just ran over. <laughs> Detroit don't stop. We do not stop at all. Man, I love the holiday season, man. Holiday season, like, when we come up, remember, you, like, you just couldn't wait for holidays to come because you knew you were going to get some shit, man. Like, I'm thinking about doing like a throwback Christmas for my kids. I talked to my wife about this. Like, we know we should do like a throwback Christmas because all the shit they want costs too much. You know, they want everything that they want costs like 500, 200. I'm like, you know what? We need to get there like some throwback gifts, like a light bright. <laughs> oh, when the light bright, the shit. Oh, these kids don't know, man. Shit, get the ass a light bright. Get my daughter an easy bake oven. <laughs> then what's the shit? I don't want to, like, you get like some crayons and a coloring book. Like, you, girl, you got 64 crayons. <laughs> and what you can do with 64 crayons? My kids don't give a damn. They want all the shit that costs the most. They just want all that. I got a daughter. Anybody got a teenage daughter? Yeah, yeah that's how I clap. Like, this motherfucker. Yeah. God damn. Don't you, you like a bottomless pit. She don't get empty. She just wants. Man, she wants so much shit. She hit me and my wife the other day, man. She was like, I want some Lululemon yoga pants. Lululemon yoga pants is $150 yoga pants. $150, I said, you don't even stretch. And here we gonna buy you some yoga pants for, we'll take your ass to City Trends and get you some stretch pants and get you about five of them boys for 50. She wants some Ugg boots. Ugg boots, $150 for some Ugg boots. I like the hell. There ain't no way how they, we gonna go to Meyer and get your ass some ugly boots. <laughs> and they gonna be ugly as hell. I don't know. I think we messed up, man. Like, you know, you, you, we raise our kids because we want them to have the stuff that we didn't have when we was kids. And uh, I think that's kind of where we fucking up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to let your kids struggle a little bit. You know, we ain't get everything we wanted, man. I wanted some jingle boots. My mama was like, hell no. You getting these snowmobile boots. <laughs> Walking through the school, I got moon boots. I ain't even know which, which foot went on which one. Just, both look the same. when we came up, when they come up, man, like, we ain't need all, we look, we did not need controllers, Wi-Fi's, passwords, we ain't need none of that. All we needed was one person to be it. That's all the hell we needed. Your ass is it until you tag somebody. That's it, you, you it. No, finger cross, no. Do you hate that dude, the one that always swore his something was crawling, like, no, nah, my, my leg was crawling. Like, what fucking, you cheating. Miss how we came up, man. Now the kids just so new, they don't even go outside no more. Remember when you was like young, man, punishment was like, 
You ever been on punishment, like a two-week punishment? Oh, man, two-week punishment wore your ass out. I'm like, look, can, can just whip me. Please whip me. Them punishments was brutal, man. And my mama, she wasn't letting up. You know he used to go to buy your mama room and be like, trying cold, you know, trying Connor and letting you all like, mama. I got A on my test today. <laughs> that, that ain't no report card. Your ass still on punishment. See a dude walking with your girlfriend, you all that face pressed against the window and shit. You all walking with your woman like, <laughs> Can't put these kids on that kind of punishment. I told them, I said, y'all ass can't go outside because your room nasty, kitchen ain't clean. You, you guess what? You ain't going outside. It's like, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. It's scary as hell out there. Bugs and shit out there. I ain't going to. told my wife we should have had a talk with these kids before we see we messed around we moved out here to a school district because why is y'all like the school district man we don't give a fuck you like you know is anybody breaking in that's all i want to know is this, you know what i'm saying everybody coming up in this boy i like this house no, but the school district is not rated high enough we move out here in this school district now we out there we ain't have we had no idea we should have talked to these damn kids before you move out to the suburbs, have a talk with your kids. Like, look, look, now, we just live out here. We can't do shit these people do. I mean, you go your ass to school and you come right back home. My daughter, she wanted to be on a cheer team, a track team, a debate team, a band. I'm like, hey, hey, what, 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 what? Fuck up. Oh, this shit got cost. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, now she's like going to school with these suburban kids, you know, and, and, and Bren, Brenda and Linda and Becky, they like, yeah, we're, we're going to go to Panera Bread. And like, then go to Starbucks and get a frap. <laughs> a frap. You hear me like, Dad, can I get $20? I'm like, $20? I'm like, that's groceries, dog. <laughs> I'm like, look here, we, we not Panera Bread Starbucks people. We, yeah, we gas station party store people. You know what I'm saying? I'll stop and get you a brisk. They get you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, get your ass some James potato chips. <laughs> Shit, there's some butts of the bread in the fridge. <laughs> Make your own flat bread. You ain't got <laughs> Don't be a follower. <laughs> That's how you hear the winner. Don't be a follower. My daughter's smart as shit, too, man. Now, you know when your kids get smarter than you are? And they ask you to help with some homework. I'm like, oh, shit. My daughter got pre-calculus. I graduated from Mumford. <laughs> with algebra. <laughs> she hit me with some pre-calculus shit. She was like, Dad, what is the reciprocal of a fragmented fraction? I said, what did you just say? So first of all, we don't talk like that in this house. <laughs> you ain't even old enough to reciprocal. Uh, me and my mom, your mama, we reciprocal. We and you ain't. <laughs> God, what you do when you don't know how to do the homework either, though? You be like, uh, what your teacher tell y'all? <laughs> you don't be listening in class? <laughs> I can't even know that shit. Oh my God, I got four kids, man. I just got like kids just grown. Anybody got grown kids? God, uh, grown kids, man. Them motherfuckers, they stress you out more than the little ones. Cause you know what I'm saying? When you, grown kids, like when grown kids is grown and they don't live with you no more, that's when your ass got to worry. Cause you don't know what they out there fucking up. 
See, shit changed when your problems and your kids' problems look the same. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When your problem and your kids' problems look the same, like she hit me with like, my car no is late and my rent is behind. I was like, shit, mine too. <laughs> What you gonna do? <laughs> Cause I'm hiding my car. <laughs> see, grown folks know you've been broke long enough, you know they ain't gonna do shit until like three months, see? You gotta hurry up and catch up. Don't let that shit hit three. <laughs> That's when you're grown, grown. See, I grew up and I learned how to be broke. Shit, I ain't never, I ain't never been scared of no shut off notice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, when I got married, me and my wife, man, she got married, she, like, panicking and shit. And you know what I'm saying? You, you know, you got that utility bill, ain't but one sheet of paper in that month. <laughs> you already know what it say on the inside of the envelope, because you can see the red letters. Through it, and I'm like, look, 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 calm down because a shut off notice is nothing more than somebody telling you what they might do. <laughs> nothing to worry about. The time to worry is when they're walking in your backyard. <laughs> you had your shit cut off. Come on, I'm the, we're the real folks. You're not getting Come on, y'all, don't be bougie. I know y'all know 965-8000. Y'all know 1-800-477-4747? Y'all know 244-4444? You damn right. Y'all know everybody in this room, you the man arrangements on arrangements. Hell yeah, you do the old hood thing. Like, hey, uh, I wanna make one more arrangement. Hold up. <laughs> No sense in being broke and dumb. <laughs> no, no. But learn how to appreciate things, man. Got to teach it. Let these kids like appreciate stuff, man. I, I try and teach my sons, man. I got sons, you know. And you want your sons to be like stand-up guys, men with character, and you know, and learn how to overcome shit. So I got my son in sports. Anybody got their son in sports? Like, you put your son in Little League because that's some character-building shit. When we came up, everybody played on something. We played something. Now, here's the thing with being a dude. Like, you got a son? You got kids? No kids? Okay, you just eating this. Son. <laughs> See, you motherfucker grill. You ain't sharing shit either. You like, it's right in front of you. <laughs> that's what's up, though. Self-preservation. <laughs> When you got a son, man, you want your son to be good at shit. So I put my son in, in Little League Baseball, I put him in basketball, and, and, it, and it occurred to me, like, if you're the parent who kid ain't shit, that's agony. Like, when your kid can't play the sport, and your kid, <laughs> nobody want to be a parent of the worst kid on the team. Yeah, yeah, hurry up and get him to practice and shit so he can not know how to play. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Dog, you hate being that parent because everybody else look at you like, man, you, you son can't play. No, 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 I can ball. <laughs> That's him, he ain't got shit to do with me. <laughs> he had an away game. You ever had a kid have an away game? Now we got, my gas light is on. I'm like, oh, shit, we gotta go to an away game. Now I gotta, we, we watching the game together. He's sitting next to me. <laughs> I love, love it. It's my phone. All right. Oh, he got the flip phone. Hello, that's Willie. <laughs> you know a flip phone, you gotta say, Willie? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I'll be there directly. I'm about to call you right back. I'm at the comedy show. And at the comedian, man. I, 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 hold on. <laughs> it's funny, man. 
you know, man, you get middle age. Middle age, it's just like sneak up on you. Like, you got to kind of ease into being middle age because, like, we still think young. I'm 52. I still think young. Like, you don't want to accept your middle age. But at a point in life, look, accept your middle age. You know what I'm saying? You can think you can do all the shit that you used to do. Trust me. You can't. You can't. You know your middle age. Middle age is this. Now, now middle age is this is what you do. You get up like this. You know somebody did this rock first. <laughs> That's middle age. Middle age is when you get in a car like this. Look, man, I, I get it. I get it. I'm good in middle age. Look, I'm, listen, I just want to be healthy. Anybody here trying to work out and shit? You trying to stay healthy? You trying to watch what you eat? And listen, if you're trying to watch what you eat, ain't nothing wrong. Live. Eat to live. Don't, lay, don't let food. We all going to eat that. But <laughs> no, <laughs> you're like, no, I'm smashing this. Fuck that, what you saying. <laughs> Shit, I took my bill at Pesha Peel. <laughs> You're middle age, man. You ever Google like that pain you had? See, I'm one of them type people, man. If I feel something funny, I'm like, oh shit, what was that? <laughs> I web MD like <laughs> I will web MD my ass off because I don't want shit sneaking up on me. I wanna work out, man. You ever like Anybody in this room other than me just like work out in their head? I mean, you just like. In my head, I am going fucking at it. <laughs> I'm ripped in my head. And everybody's like, no, nah, I'm going to just start in the morning. In the morning, because you know what? After I get home from work, I'm going to go on and hit this gym, knock these reps out. Then you'd be like, you know what, I ain't that bad. <laughs> Anybody here, like, let me, let me, where the married folks at? Married folks, clap your hands, married folks. Come on, clap your hands. <laughs> that is the saddest ass clap. <laughs> of all the claps, the married clap is like, <sighs> marriage is work. I've been married, we'll be married 18 years in July. 18 years in marriage. Thank, yeah, thank you, yeah. <laughs> the marriage is work. Like, you know, like, Men, we don't even understand what the fuck is about to happen. <laughs> when you're walking down that aisle, you know what I'm saying? And that's why they walk slow. <laughs> like, you know, like it's, a, like it's a scene, like you like a scene in the movie, the shit happened in a slow motion, you can't get out the way. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, here she come. Oh. <laughs> she not gonna turn, okay. <laughs> She's coming for me. <laughs> and it's the funniest thing, man, because the, the wedding walk, I never understood. Because one, it, you know, this is like the pageantry of it. I'm like, look, we got to pay this man, so let's speed this shit up. You know, tell this motherfucker, come on. The flower girl don't want to throw the flower because she scared all the people. Look, give me the damn flower shit. Damn, man, your ass on. I had to practice marriage. Yeah, practice marriage. You, you know, marriage, a practice marriage to teach your ass how to be married. That practice marriage taught my ass, look, two broke motherfuckers got no business <laughs> marrying each other at all. It ain't shit y'all should do but shake hands. We were broke. We thinking love going to conquer all things. I'm like, no, love could not conquer shut off notices, evictions, repossessions. It was not it pretty. Now, you know we was broke as hell when we go to the grocery store and we browsing. 
We just in that motherfucker browsing. <laughs> Get your ass some shrimp one day. <laughs> we broke as hell. I was just eating the kitten, because there wasn't shit else to eat. <laughs> you just ate angry pussy. I'm just eating this. Motherfucker. Ain't a shit else in the house. Nothing. <laughs> game changer because you don't know what the hell you ain't grow up I ain't grow up with her I ain't know what the hell she did at four in the morning with them four in the morning habits now I'm this is my wife and all I hear in the bathroom is <laughs> <laughs> I say hell no I'd have made a throat scratcher <laughs> you damn you didn't tell me you was a throat scratcher I'm back in the bedroom like I'm ready. I'm like, for what, surgery? Is that some nasty shit you just did? <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Now my marriage, man, I love being married, man. It is, the marriage is just like the most common, because you listen, men, your wife saved your life. Man, your wife saved your life because I was an asshole. And most men were, man. Your woman saved your life. And we don't want to admit it, but shit, think about the dude you was and the dude you are right now. Shit, why? I'm thankful for my, I thank God for my wife now. Now, 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 okay. Now, here's the thing. Because I think, you know, marriage, I realize, like, things change when you get married. And I understand that. That's just life. Shit changes. But I did not know, like, the first thing that changed was the underwear. <laughs> I didn't have any idea. I was like, where the thongs go? What the f There's no more thongs on this. She's got these big-ass panties. There's a, there's a panty and a bra. I'm like. I'm trying to take this thing off. I'm like the wife complained like you know we used to have a lot more sex when we was dating and now we are you got me now you don't want to have i'm like if the kids is right they stay in the room we got four motherfuckers in the room what we gonna do <laughs> you gotta pick your moments now so we do you like the middle of the week sex ain't shit sexy about middle of the week sex you know what I'm saying? Middle of the week sex, ain't no candles, ain't no motherfucking wine, and look, we got our socks on, you know, we got t-shirts and sh You know what I'm saying? Middle of the week sex, you ain't even kissing. You know, you that's when you've been married a long time. You don't even kiss them, you're like, hey. <laughs> Both y'all still got your eyes closed. <laughs> we gonna do it all night. I don't know the hell we not. We are not doing it all night. Yeah, I got 50 pumps. We can split this shit up however you want. We do one times 50, two times 25, or 10 times five, or five times 10. It's gonna be 50 pumps. Yeah, we are not fucking all night. Them days are done. It's just fucking all night. Who the hell? Are the, they ready for round two. What? I ain't no round two. And I, neither one of women, y'all be talking shit. We got, well, you know, you ready for round two? <laughs> Here we go, 
an argument about who was on top last. <laughs> Woo, that's a hell of an argument. Ain't that crazy ass argument? You be like, damn, I swear for God I was on top last. I swear, look, I got the pictures on everything I was on top last. Then y'all make a copyright, like, right, fuck it, let's just do it on our side. <laughs> you just like, fuck it. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, man, I tell you what. Yeah, you don't used to go downtown on me. You said, what is downtown? You know how far that is? <laughs> Can we just, like, go to the corner store? It's just, you gotta go all the way downtown. Like, you know what I'm saying? Come and get it. She's like, come and get this. I'm like, can't you just like walk over here? Can't you just walk over? <laughs> I want you to pick me up. Let's say, what? <laughs> Fifth and six vertebrae is. I got a bad knee. <laughs> <laughs> love it though. I love marriage, man. I love it. The single people, we all at. Single people. <laughs> yeah, I know that 2017 single is a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, y'all meeting some different type motherfucker now. <laughs> Middle-aged men with skinny jeans and shit. <laughs> you done met the motherfucker old ass man with gray braids. <laughs> Yeah, no, you couldn't pay me. Man. I know y'all. Oh, man. Oh, man, I had some fun. Y'all had fun with me tonight, man. We had a ball. This is how we do it, man. I had a ball with you all, man. One last thing before you get out, before I get out of here. Let me, let me ask y'all something real quick, real talk. Like, you ever roll with somebody and, like, and they dropped you off or you dropped somebody off and you, like, wait on them? I always wonder, like, why do people wait when you drop somebody off? It, it's still, I can't even figure it uh, out. You, do, you dropped somebody off before, and you wait for them. What do you wait for? You, you wait so they get in safe. Yeah. What if they don't? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what if somebody jumped your friend on the porch? You getting out your car? <laughs> uh, nah, I'm going to be a witness like, girl, he whooped your ass. <laughs> Y'all, that's my time. My name is Daryl 